A former Marine is looking for closure after his Spokane Valley home was burglarized last week. He's even comparing the experience to his time in Iraq and says the feeling is much worse. KXY 4's Allie Norton live in the studio now to tell us why. Allie? Nicholas Whiteman says that it's been really hard for him to feel secure since the incident last Monday. He says not only because they entered the house, but also because they saw that a child was living there and still went through with the burglary. For Nicholas Whiteman, it's been hard calling his house home lately after it was burglarized last week. Every item that could be gone through was gone through. Every bookshelf, every dresser, every drawer, uh, everything was just torn apart and scattered, broken everywhere. Whiteman says that the suspects made off with numerous items, including laptops, smartphones, and gaming systems. They also stole memorabilia given to him from his fellow Marines. Items that wouldn't matter to anybody else, uh, but you know, they have very significant value to myself. But they made off with something more, his sense of security. Uh, this is the window that they broke in through here. Whiteman adds that he did two tours in Iraq, and that this experience was much more traumatic. I thought that I had felt fear before going to war, uh, and uh, none of those feelings I've ever had like I do now. Not only for him, but also for his eight-year-old son. I, I can't even put my son to sleep anymore, because uh, every 10 minutes, he's waking up, he's worried, he's concerned, he heard a noise, there's somebody out in his window. Whiteman has since installed cameras around the house and put extra locks on the doors. But above anything, he hopes that his neighbors will keep an eye out now. We have to do something more as a community. And Whiteman says at this point he doesn't care about getting the items back. He wants to know who did it so that he can get closure and get back to feeling safe in his home. Reporting in the studio, Allie Norton, KXLY 4 News. All right, thank you, Allie.